Hey guys, Maria here. Today I'm filming a real quick video. I'm trying to get this done before my husband gets home from work and I need to start cooking dinner. But I have a bag here of products that I am planning to get rid of. I'm going to let some friends and family look through them, see if there's anything they want. And I thought I would share those with you really quickly. I have quite a few hair products. There's nothing wrong with these products. What's wrong is that they contain ingredients that break me out. Some of these I did not purchase. They were passed on to me, um, but they just don't work for me either. And then some of this is just stuff I don't want anymore. Um, hair stuff I have quite a bit of. I have, this is the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Tri Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. This has silicone in it and it breaks me out. Same deal here, extra strength Moroccan argan oil. I know I finished one of these up in my Finish 6 by Christmas, but it does break me out. It has silicone in it, and I just, I don't want to do that to myself again. Same problem with this Tresemme uh, heat protectant. Silicone breaks me out. I'm not going to buy stuff anymore for my hair, um, or in general, if it has silicone in it, because I'm tired of putting myself through the same cycle. Set those down. Um hair mask here. I don't know what it is in this. This sorry, this is not a hair mask. This is a face mask. It's the mint julep mask from Queen Helene. There's something in this that breaks me out. I've only used this a handful of times, but the very next morning I wake out, wake up and I have a huge breakout. So I'm just gonna pass this on to someone else who might like it. Another face mask. This is a sample, uh, well, it's a full size, but it's a sample that I got. It's the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Anti-Stress Dead Sea Minerals Face Mask. This um, has lavender in it, which, you guessed it, breaks me out. This was um, from my big box of Origins products that I got. From Sephora recently, it's the Plant Scriptions Youth Renewing Face Oil. It contains lavender, so I can't use it. This is the Origins Checks and Balances Face Wash. I'm really disappointed in this. I should have looked at the ingredients before I bought the whole kit. It was still worth the money because it was a good size and good value for what I really wanted, which was the eye cream. But anyway, this has lavender. I'm not even, I haven't even opened this. I don't know if it's sealed or not. It is not, but I haven't used it. Um, I'm just, I can't do it. I'm not gonna, there's no point. I know it's gonna break me out. If it has lavender oil in it, it will break me out. Two more products from that kit. <laughs> this was the Origins High Potency Nitamins. And then this is the Origin Ginseng. These are both moisturizers. This one's for night, this one's for morning. I have opened and used a handful of times both of these. The sad thing is I really, really love these. They're really nice. I think they're great products. They just don't work for me personally. Um, they both contain silicone as one of the very first ingredients, and they also have jojoba, which clogs my pores. I should have read the ingredients. I'm really trying to get better at this because I'm tired of wasting money, but I do think those are good products. Here we are. Um, this is a sample Juice Beauty. I really wanted to give this a try, but now I'm glad I didn't because it has vitamin A, which is retinal palmitate, and breaks me out. This was from my Ipsy bag this month. This month, <laughs> this is the CRX Birch Sap Moisturizing Lotion. I, this had something in it that broke me out. I looked it up. I haven't opened this. I don't remember what it was now. I think it might've been lavender. I'm not sure, but I'm going to go ahead and give that to someone else. I have a few more, um, more makeup -y items. This is It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I haven't opened this because they sent me the color Neutral Medium. Uh, originally, they forgot to send this in my bag at all, so I only had four products. Then they sent it out separately, and when I got it, it's way too dark for me, especially to use under my eyes. So I'm just going to pass this along. Uh, let's see. 
I've got some nail polishes here. Most of these were in my project polish. I'll leave that link down below. It's my way of cycling through some of my nail polishes to see which ones I love, which ones I don't use very much, which ones I hate the formula of, etc, etc. Um, this was not in there, but this is Orly Act Your Shoe Size. And this color just does not look good against my skin tone, especially on my fingernails. This was Essie's Da Bush. I just decided I don't really love this color. It's, uh, I don't know. I just don't like it. This is Sephora's Formula X polish, and this is in the color Extraordinary. It's kind of a bluish gray. I love the color, but the formula on this is crap. I've only had this for about a year, and I think I've only used it maybe one other time, and the formula is already kind of hard to work with, so I'm, I'm going to keep that. This was a Revlon Color Stay. You actually, these have been discontinued. So I got this on discount at Ulta. This is in the color Fall Mood. Looks really pretty in the bottle, but against my skin tone, it just is too orangey. Mm, more makeup. This is a blush from e.l.f. in the shade Mellow Mauve. I am going to pass that on. I've got... Let's see, a few other products here. This was a nail polish from Avon. The shade is Soft Violet. It's a really pretty color, but I wasn't using it very often. This one is an OPI in the shade Barrett in Trafalgar Square. It's just a really pinky nude. This is a blush from NYX in the shade Desert Rose. Another blush from NYX, and this is in the shade Pinch. I do really like this, but I've decided to pass it on because I have a lot of blushes, and I don't reach for blushes that are really shimmery, and this one's fairly shimmery. This is another blush from NYX, and this one's in the shade Mocha. Um, I have a couple that are pretty spot on for this color, so I just decided to go ahead and let somebody else get some love out of that. A few more polishes. This is a Funky Fingers polish. My dogs are going to town with the stuff in the floor. Uh, this is in the shade Jawbreaker. It's like a color you can use over others, but I found it hard to work with. This is an Essence polish in the shade Deep Sea Baby. It's a really pretty green, but I have another color really similar that I like better. This is an e.l.f. eyeshadow quad in Day to Night. I really like this, but I have a lot of more expensive eyeshadows that I would rather spend my time using rather than this, which I didn't actually even pay for. It was a free gift with purchase. What else do I have? I have a couple brushes. Let's see, this is a lip brush. This is a Real Techniques brow brush. This is a random flat shadow brush. I'm not sure who would use that for shadow. This is a, it says detailer brush, but it kind of reminds me of a concealer brush. And this is from Real Techniques. This is a pointed foundation brush, which I don't use these kind of brushes for foundation ever. So I figured there's no point in holding on to that couple of more eyeshadows. These are the e.l.f. loose eyeshadows. I have the shade Temptress. Trendy, which is kind of shimmery. And Enchanting. And those are messy and not something I was reaching for, so I decided to go ahead and let them go. A couple of lip products. Actually, quite a few lip products. Um, I have NYX Hero Lip uh, Stick. <laughs> it just kind of comes out too pink on my lips personally. This is, I have no idea what the color of this is, but the number is 236. This is an Ulta lipstick. This is a City Color lipstick. 
in the shade cappuccino I just don't like the way this color looks on my skin and also I don't like the formula on that polish oh, not polish on that lipstick this is a just kiss it just, I cannot talk can you tell I just got home from work <laughs> this is a Revlon just kissable balm stain and this is in the shade adore and I just again I have a lot of red lipsticks that I would rather reach for I have a lip gloss from Kaylin and it looks like this has actually just plain out separated which is weird because I got this yeah I think I'm just gonna 100% throw this in the garbage actually um this is a wet and wild lipstick in the shade bear it all this is an elf mineral lip tint and it's in the shade coral no guava but it does look kind of coral and i have one foundation this is an elf acne fighting foundation and it's in the shade ivory but this is way too dark and way too pink on my skin tone i think that's it that's a lot of crap guys um, but I'm gonna, like I said, let my friends and family look through it, see if they want anything before I toss any of it. I've thought about donating some of this stuff to, like, a women's shelter, but I've never done that before, and I'm not sure if you can donate used products. It's, I mean, I would sanitize them, but I'm not sure if you can do that. If any of you guys have any experience or any tips with doing that, if you would leave those below in a comment, I would really appreciate your feedback. But other than that, that's all I have, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.